and welcome to your tarot reading. Today's reading is going to be all about how you can make money quickly. It's going to be about what skills you can bring in to really bring in some cash and what you can start to do to stop the outflow of money. So we'll go from left to right here. We have pile one with the cat tarot in pink, pile two with the modern witch tarot in blue, and pile three with the force of enchantment tarot in green. The timestamps will be down below as always, so go ahead and pick the one according to your pile, and let's go ahead and get into it. Can't wait for your reading, and I'll see you guys there. Hello, my beautiful pile one. Welcome to your reading. So, we're starting out with your tarot cards. I did do a spread here, which I'll go ahead and run you through it. Card one is who will or can help you make money quickly, and sort of what you need to look out for in this person or in this scenario. Card two is what assets or resources or things around you can you release to help bring in some extra money. Card three is what talents or skills can you generate more income with fast. Card four is what you can temporarily stop or sort of release to reverse the outflow of money. Card five is what official or unofficial borrowing sources are there. So sort of something you could get money from or somebody you could borrow off of, things like that. Card six is, are there any unpaid money or favors that anybody owes you? Card seven is the hidden obstacles, so things that might be in the way of this money. And card eight is the rescuer here, or who will rescue you. So let's go ahead and jump in. I feel like something that will help you bring in money is really standing up for yourself. I feel like you're going to finally stand up to a boss or an authority figure and realize that you can make a big impact by being a leader and others will follow in your footsteps and this could bring in money for you very quickly. I feel like you do need to be careful and make sure you're paying attention to your goals and your self-discipline because I feel like you might have trouble um, sticking to like your goals and you might sort of give up on them after a while if they aren't going the way that you envision them but I feel like as soon as you really set discipline for yourself and you decide what you really want you can take over anything that you want in the world which is super cool I will say because this emperor is in reverse be careful of a toxic male figure or a controlling relationship um, don't end up in a scenario where you're depending on someone for money so they're able to like walk all over you or treat you poorly because of that. So be aware of that. So that card too was about what resources you could release. You got the three of wands, which to me this could be about leaving home. I feel like you might finally release your like ties to where you live. And maybe you've been considering traveling or moving your business to a new location, or you've like maybe thought about putting this business out to the public. That's what this card is sort of about here. It's about sort of releasing your fear and releasing um, sort of the stable environment and sort of taking a leap with it. So for the talents that could generate you more income fast, I see this very like beautiful, happy energy. So this is something you're very happy doing. Um, this could be a career or a hobby to do with working with energy or maybe a fun job that's like, that everyone would find fun or it's something that just you find fun. And it's possible work with children, but that won't be for everyone. With this temperance card, I feel like you can sort of reverse the outflow of money by being balanced in your approach to things. So don't be the person to go big or go home. I feel like if you're really patient and you do everything in moderation, you could have really big money coming in here. And I feel like there might even be a business getting started here. And this business with you as a leader, I feel like you'll bring together like very diverse groups of people and you'll create like a very beautiful environment with a lot of harmony and everyone will work really well together. Which, that's super cool. That won't be for everyone. You might sort of be the person who's your own boss, you know what I mean? You might make money just through 
like a passion project or doing something that makes you happy, but I feel like for a lot of people it could be a business that you own and employees and standing up to a boss and sort of becoming a leader yourself. So for the borrowing sources, I don't really see you borrowing from anyone. I feel like you're the type who you work for your money and you aren't going to ask for handouts. So I definitely see you just keeping, like keeping on keeping on, doing what you're doing. You're going through the grind, you're working your ass off to get this money. And you're extremely dedicated to your goal to make this money. And that's how you're going to get this money fast. It's how hard you work and it's going to make you move up the ranks super quickly. So then the next card is um, what favors are owed to you or if there's unpaid money around you. And you actually got the Wheel of Fortune for that. So I feel like you're a super giving person and you're the type of person to sort of give every penny that you have and you'd give the shirt off your back if you could. And this card is all about karma and how what goes around comes around. So if you've been a kind and loving person, you've been really giving to others, that's going to come back around for you. And maybe if you haven't been in the past, maybe this is your sign that you should start doing that because it's all karma, right? If you're a very stingy person, you aren't going to get so much back. You know what I mean? Um, when you give to others, others will give to you. So just keep that in mind. So your hidden obstacle is the fool, which the fool in this regard would be about like a lack of discipline, which we mentioned that earlier. I feel like something that could be in your way with this would be that lack of discipline and maybe fear. Um, some of you will be leaving the career and now to go be this leader or you might just be leaving this career in general to follow your dreams and you might be really scared of that so I feel like fear is a big obstacle here. But at the same time, I feel like taking this leap of faith and doing what your heart is screaming right now will really bring you this money, or like, very quickly. And your unrevealed rescuer or rescuer is just the lessons you've learned on your journey. Um, you've learned not to repeat your past mistakes. You might be returning to your old work. That won't be for everyone. Um... I feel like some of you might move in with a family member or get a roommate or do something like that to sort of share your finances or maybe move in with a partner even. But it's about sort of saving up money by sharing with someone. Which like I said, you won't take handouts so of course you're probably still going to be paying the rent and everything but maybe you're doing this so that you can split the bills or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but I do see here that you've definitely learned your lesson, and your past lessons are going to help you make money very fast here. Because you've learned in the past what not to do, and you're never going to do it again. Next up, I will go ahead and jump into your oracle cards. So, I wasn't too sure what to do with the oracle cards this time around. Um, I pulled out a few of my decks. I don't know how it's going to be. Two of these decks are brand new, so this is going to be my first time using them. So we have the Starseed Oracle here, so give me some financial messages for my beautiful Pile 1. What should they hear right now about this? We have Earthed. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. We'll see if there's anything else here. My camera's gonna die, of course it is. Woo, one went flying, okay. Lost lands, soul memories and gifts, you've done this before. Alright, so I feel like this Earth card is sort of telling you to get balanced. Um, I feel like you might have your head in the clouds and be a very big dreamer, but you need to make sure you keep that in balance with your um, physical body as well. 
You need to be careful not to overwork yourself. And I feel like you need to be careful to have like a good balance with your spirituality as well. I feel like you have a lot of trouble sort of grounding yourself and keeping yourself in your physical body in a way. You might be a really big daydreamer. I'm getting that vibe. And I feel like that could sort of get in your way. It's not bad to dream. Never stop dreaming. But be very sure you find a good balance of dreaming and overthinking and draining yourself. This Lost Lands card is sort of telling you that you might have been here in the past life, in your past life. If you're feeling guided to sort of make a change in your life, like a new career, but you feel unprepared, this like this card sort of tells you that in another life you've been here before and you made it through. So maybe take some time to meditate or... I don't know what all you guys do, you know what I mean? Past life-wise, I'm not too good at it. I don't know how it all works yet, but... Um, maybe get in contact with somebody who can do past life readings and maybe see what you might have done in your past life when you were in the same scenario, or... Sometimes I sort of read the past life cards as not necessarily a past life, but maybe a past life in this life, if you know what I mean. Um, sort of more something that's happened to you in the past that you learned these lessons that we spoke about from. So this is pretty much just a message that tells you that you can do this because you've done it before and not to be afraid. Next up we have the Work Your Light Oracle. So, pile one financial messages. See if there's anything you need to know. Okay. Birthing a new age. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. In the age of light, you've been training for this for lifetimes. That is so beautiful. So, this is pretty much saying that right now you are basically planting the seeds for your garden to grow, for all of your beautiful ideas, you're planting them and they're going to start growing now and blooming into these beautiful, beautiful, what do I even say that? These beautiful, beautiful flowers? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but basically anything you dream of can come into light right now for you. All of your like financial worries will sort of come to um, a halt here. Don't be afraid about starting this new job or starting up this business because you've been here before and you were 100% backed up and you've got this. Next up, I'll pull from my spirit animal deck, see if there's any quick messages for you here. Messages for Paul One about their finances or how they can make money fast, what they need to hear. Okay. We have the Eagle Spirit, Spirit has your back, and the Seagull Spirit, watch and wait. So, this is basically saying that the world is here to back you up. Spirit is here to back you up. Just sort of sit back and wait. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't overthink it. Just to know that you are protected right now, and all your dreams are going to come true in one way or another. And last but not least, I will pull a fortune cookie card for you, so... Pile one's finances. Oh, <laughs> travel. Okay, per. So we have travel. Long distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. So I feel like some of you will be traveling for your job or like doing things that will be not from home. Definitely big changes related to travel. Um, not for everyone. I feel like some of you will just be sort of like maybe traveling up the ranks, you know what I mean? Maybe it'll go from like a recruit to a chief, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's really, really cool. So it looks like you'll be, just sum it up for you, you'll be getting money by sort of just working hard and putting faith into the universe that you're exactly where you're meant to be and keeping things sort of balanced and putting in the work and effort to get the money that you deserve. That is super, super exciting, Pile 1, and I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I really hope you get this money ASAP.
I'm so, so excited for you, and I hope you have a beautiful day. If you enjoyed the reading, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what pile you picked. And go ahead and leave a like and subscribe, because I do readings like this once a week. And in the future, I'd like to start doing them more frequently. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye! Hello, hello, my beautiful pile too. Welcome to your reading. So, today's reading, I did do a spread for once in my life instead of just shuffling and hoping for the best because that's normally how I do all my readings. So, today's spread is all about how you can make money quickly. So, we have card one, which is who will or can help you and what are the strings attached behind that help. We have pile two, which is what existing assets, well not pile two, card two which is what existing assets or resources can you release that can sort of help you get into this money. We have card three, which is what talents or skills can generate more income fast, which for card three, two actually came out for you because of the way I shuffle, so we'll get into that. Um, card four is the Wheel of Fortune, which is what will temporarily stop or reverse the money outflow for you. We have card five, which is what official or unofficial borrowing sources are there. So this is um, someone or something you could borrow money from. We have card six, which is, is there any unpaid money or favors owed to you? Then we have card seven, the hidden obstacles. So these are like blockages to this um, fast money. And we have card eight. This is the unrevealed rescue or rescuer. So this is something that will help you get the money that you can't see yet. So let's go ahead and jump right in. For who or what can help, I feel like you're moving towards a less competitive industry maybe. You might be in a really competitive work environment or home environment. And you might be getting away from this environment where there is constant conflict. And I feel like that's what might help you here. I feel like some money debates may linger, which could be a little difficult in the home, but I feel like as you move away from this competitive work life and away from these people with like such strong opposing views to you, I feel like you'll be moving into a much more stable time. So for what assets or resources you can release, we got the sun, which this is all about like paying off your debts and really making sure your finances are secure. So I feel like release for you is insecurity. Um, you're no longer going to be at that point where you're insecure about how much money you have. Um, and you're going to be releasing debts, which is really, really good actually. I feel like you might be in the process of searching for a new job or promotion, so I feel like you might have recently quit that competitive industry and said you might be moving to something that makes you a lot happier. And I feel like any hidden factors are going to be revealed right now. So for what talents or skills can generate you more income quickly, um, we got the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Three of Wands in reverse. So. This is all about making sure that you are interested in your job. Don't do something that you're doing just to make somebody else happy. I feel like you need to be very sure you're doing something that makes your heart sing. You need to be doing something that makes you super happy um, and something that isn't influenced by the opinions of social media or the people around you. I feel like something that you could do is really get your finances organized. I feel like as you get this organized, you'll feel less blocked because I feel like your motivation or creativity might be blocked because of this um, poor money management. And I feel like you're in the state of sort of like financial chaos. So make sure you're keeping very good track of how much money is coming in and how much is going out to make sure you aren't going into debt or anything like that. And I feel like you keep saying no to opportunities that are coming to you because you're waiting for the perfect one. And I feel like you've missed out on really good opportunities because of your perfectionism and sort of... I don't know. I don't know why you sort of reject these proposals, but I feel like it's time to start giving into it so you can get a bit of an income. I feel like whatever is coming in for you right now will be a really big change. 
but I really think it'll help you get into this better, better place. So for what will temporarily stop or reverse the outflow, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which the Wheel of Fortune is all about like cutting useless expenses and investment opportunities, things like that. The Wheel of Fortune basically is big change and anything can happen and good karma. So I feel like you might be investing in the right opportunity right now that will help you earn a lot of money. So make sure you're investing in the right thing right now. Make sure you're investing your time and your money into good things that will benefit you and not into like things that will grant you only temporary happiness. So for your borrowing sources, I see your current job coming to an end. So you do need to be careful with how you spend your money right now so you don't have to mooch off the people around you. Um... Or I feel like maybe you've recently, like, invested in something that hasn't paid off yet. So you're just sort of broke sitting there waiting on the right moment. So be very, very careful with your finances at this time, because you are prone to financial ruin right now. And also, make sure you aren't gambling. Next card is, are there unpaid money or favors owing to you? Which, that's the page of wands. Um, I feel like this favor coming into you might be a gift from someone else, or extra money from other sources, or a raise or a bonus at a job, or maybe even a new position at work. Some of you might have been leaving a job, while others of you, like, stuck through, and you might be finally getting a raise and getting bumped up to the next rank. You guys are definitely prone to gambling and splurging, it looks like, so be very careful and make sure you always save enough money to back up on, like to have a backup over going broke and just hoping you win a lottery ticket. Your hidden obstacles are dishonesty, so I feel like someone in your life, maybe in work or at home, has been dishonest and their lies are soon going to be exposed, which might really rock your world and there might be financial chaos caused even by this. I'm not entirely sure with this, but just be very careful to make sure everyone around you is being honest and make sure you're being honest as well. And if you aren't being honest, make sure you confess to that as soon as possible before it becomes too big of an issue. And for your unrevealed rescuer, we have the Six of Wands, which this is all about meeting the right person or a raise or a promotion. So some of you, this could be a person who comes in with a lot of money who is there to help you. Others, this will be you just working your way up and finally getting the raise you've been wanting. And it's time to finally appreciate and enjoy the rewards of your hard work. Just be careful not to splurge. <laughs> So next up, we'll go ahead and get into your oracle cards. So I have four decks out. I don't really have anything like related directly to money. So I pulled out my starseed oracle, my work your light oracle, spirit animal oracle, and my fortune cookies. So we'll go ahead and jump right into that. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and start out with the work your light oracle cards. So give me some financial messages for pile one. Oh. Okay, we have birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Let's see what else. Pile two. Pile two fast money messages. Pile two money messages. Too many cards. Pile two money messages. Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic Teacher. So, I feel like you're definitely coming into a world where your dreams can sort of come true. This is somewhere where you're really following your heart, and I feel like that raise you've been looking for is coming in finally. And I feel like 
The Sister of the Rose is about devotion and devoting yourself to something, and I feel like anything you put your mind to and devote yourself to, you can accomplish. You're that type of person. So if you just set your mind to wanting this fast money, you'll get this fast money. Go ahead and pull some from the Starseed Oracle now. I'm about to use fast money. About to use fast money. What was I thinking about it? That's too many thinking about it. <laughs> the way I shuffle probably drives people batty, but it's, I don't know. That's how I do things. Starkeeper, Cosmic Ancestors see the light by staying grounded. There was a message I didn't say out loud that was sort of stay humble and don't let things go to your head. And I feel like that's another message about that. Like, I feel like that's telling you to keep yourself grounded. Don't let, you know, this money get to your head or anything like that. And really stay calm and realize everything will work out, even though it seems stressful right now. And remember, nothing could be as unstable as that financial chaos you were in before. And remember, things are definitely starting to improve here, not get worse. Next up, I'll go ahead and pull one from my Spirit Animal Oracle for you. So, any messages Paul one needs to hear related to their finances... If I keep calling you Pile One, I am sorry. <laughs> By the way, I got used to doing it for theirs. Um, pile Two, what do they need to hear about their finances? Wombat Spirit, be at home. Okay. Um, there might be a possible stay at home job or a project they're working on at home. There was a message earlier of that page of wands about getting extra money from various sources, so. I feel like for you that might even be like doing something at home away from your normal job to gain extra money on the side. But for others this could just be making yourself at home at work or being in a work environment that you feel at home and safe in. And for your last cards we'll pull from our fortune cookie deck. So fast money for pile two. Fast money for pile two, financial messages for pile two. Okay. We have love. Love is in there. Great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. Um, that isn't necessarily always love. That could just be a business connection and opportunities. An important offer will be made. Be prepared to dress to impress. So definitely be looking your best right now. Definitely always be ready and be like ready to pounce on opportunities. Don't hold yourself back from them anymore and remember you are good enough for the opportunities that are coming out right now and you can do this. Well pile two, that is going to be all I have for your reading today. I really hope you enjoy it and I hope this fast money comes to you ASAP. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed the reading, go ahead and like and subscribe and comment down below and let me know what pile you chose. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pile three, and welcome to your tarot reading. Today's reading is all about how you can make money quickly. Today, for once in my life, I actually did a spread instead of just sort of winging it and going with, you know, general thoughts over questions, so... I'll go ahead and walk you through this spread a bit. We have card one with who will or can help you make money quickly and what the strings are behind that. We have card two, which is what existing assets or resources can you release that can help you keep money. We have card three, which is what talents or skills can generate the most income the quickest. We have card four, which is what will temporarily stop or reverse the outflow of money. We have card five, which is what official or unofficial borrowing sources are there for money. 
We have card six, which is, are there unpaid money or favors owed to you? We have card seven, which is hidden obstacles or blockages from the money. And card eight is going to be your um, unrevealed rescue or rescuer. This is something that will bring you in cash that you can't see yet. So for what can help, I feel like a major financial decision will soon be made. I feel like there's a possible partnership um, that could bring in a lot of money. This could be with an actual romantic partner or it could just be a great connection with a coworker or with a business partner. And for some, this could even be a romantic relationship with a coworker. I don't want to throw romance in every reading. If you don't want the romance, good for you. But just letting you know it is there. Just no matter what is going on with this, make sure you're making the right decisions to ensure your relationship with your business partners or your coworkers stay in harmony. Make sure they stay balanced and make sure you don't make any poor decisions that are going to be detrimental to your finances. For card two, which is your existing assets or resources, I feel like you need to be very cautious right now and make sure you aren't giving money away or being tricked out of your money. Um, make sure you're paying close attention to your money and make sure you aren't making any dangerous bets or investments or any like suspicious deals or anything like that. Um, also, don't give in to schemes that are like, get rich quick, you know what I mean? Which, ignore me, I'm not a scheme, but <laughs> um, be very careful that nobody's trying to steal your money away from you. For card three, we got what talents or skills can generate more income. So, I feel like this is very creative energy with the moon here. You could possibly be doing something where you work at night, or you might be doing something with your creativity, like being an artist, or writing, something like that, something that you're very passionate about with your creativity. Also possible detective work. And we got another message of that about being careful you weren't tricked out of your cash, so be very, very cautious right now. Like, every card is just screaming be careful, so make sure you, like, you know, keep the key with you, if you know what I mean. Because this kind of... I don't like it. Um, then we have card four, which is the Hermit. Which is what will temporarily stop or reverse the outflow of money. I feel like it will help if you take a minute to stop and really think about your finances. And may make a spreadsheet of all of it. Or really figure out how much you're putting out and how much you're bringing in. And decide a way to bring in more income over put out some, you know what I mean? So definitely budgeting here. And I feel like maybe a teacher might help you with this. Maybe you're trying to learn online how to get better with your money. And I feel like that could be really beneficial to you at this time. But when it comes to learning about your money, make sure you aren't getting conned out of your money by learning about your money. Don't like pay $100 for a class on how to budget, you know? Don't get, don't get tricked. Um, then we have card five, which is what official or unofficial borrowing sources are there? I feel like there might be borrowing from a partner or with parents or an authority figure, which I feel like it won't be like a happy handout either. It might be like begging for money or something and them not being very receptive about it. Um, or possibly borrowing from an institution. I, I don't know. This was a really questionable card for me. Because it's all about like the rich staying rich while the poor stay poor. You know what I mean? So... Um, Hmm. Possible borrowing from like a bank or something like that, but I feel like it'll be more with like fighting to get your money from a family member or someone you're close to. Card six is, is there unpaid money or favors owed to you? Which that is the tower, which yet again you got warned to be careful with your money. 
to avoid bets and bankruptcy. I feel like you need to work to build yourself a strong network to take care of the things important to you. So you need to really work on keeping yourself surrounded by people who will be willing to help you over people who are going to like tear you down. Um, make sure you're researching products before you buy them. And if there's anything to do with like healthcare plans or retirement plans, pension plans, 401ks, whatever the hell, um, be very careful with those right now too, because that could be what the possible like theft and like swindling is from. I feel like somebody might even owe you like a past raise or past paychecks and you might be getting those in now. So your um, obstacles is the fool, which I feel like an obstacle for you would be leaving your current career and starting over. I feel like you're sort of scared to leave this career, maybe, or you're afraid of like a fresh start. And you might have a tendency to not take things seriously, like your money, you might just see it as paper, which is a really dangerous thing because I feel like you might blow it a lot. So that's going to be something really hard for you to get over is to start sort of budgeting and really learning how to handle your money and pay close attention to it. But that is a very important journey that you do need to go on here. For your rescue, I see... <laughs> I see more warnings. I see more warnings about, like, being careful and making sure to, like, double-check things and things like that, which I hate that. I hate that I have to be like, double-check your paperwork and all that. But definitely be super careful right now because things are more likely to be losses right now over wins. Um, your rescue here might be your own honesty and being honest about what you can actually do as you're looking for a new job. I feel like you're bored with work right now and this rescue might sort of be a new project or a new job or a promotion in your current job. And I feel like that might be how money comes in for you. Next, I'll go ahead and get into your oracle cards. I picked out four oracle decks for a day. I didn't really have any money-oriented decks, so if it seems a little iffy, I'm sorry about that, but um, we'll go ahead and get into it. We'll start out with the Work Your Light oracle cards by Rebecca Campbell. So pile three fast money messages, pile three financial messages, what can I need to know? I think Pile 3 needs to know I'm sleepy and need a nap. <laughs> Wait, how? Too many cards fell there. Um, pile 3 fast money, Pile 3 fast money messages. Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in Subtle Realms. So. I feel like Spirit is definitely looking out for you, and I feel like there's more people rooting for you than you'd expect. We also got Lemuria, creating heaven on earth that's happening. So creating your own bliss, your own harmony, your own Havana, making your own happy space within this realm. And I feel like the divine is here to assist you in doing this and making your life perfect for you. Next up, we'll start out with the Starseed Oracle. Oh. We have the Seven Star Sisters, Birth and Creations, Tapestry of Life Expression. And pile three, my messages. Pile three, my messages. Pull one more. Okay. Cracked open. Rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. So... I feel like a lot of your ideas are going to be coming to light right now, but you need to really give in. I feel like you're at a very low point right now, but you're still somehow digging yourself lower. <laughs> because you're fighting against the current that you're meant to be on, and you're fighting against like where you're meant to be, and you're really hurting yourself at the end of the day. So I feel like as soon as you surrender to life, 
you'll be able to express yourself more and your creativity will be back and I feel like things will sort of get more stable for you which I think would be really really good because oof, you're going through it here bestie and I'm so sorry about that Next up, I'll go ahead and pull a spirit animal card for you. This is sort of what this pile of three need to hear about money. This pile of three need to hear about money or to make money fast. What this pile of three need to hear. Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. Jump into things and make sure you're thinking about them. I definitely agree with that. Um, take a leap of faith, try out your dreams. Just make sure you're being careful about it. Don't be stupid, don't give in to schemes. Don't get ripped off, you know? Remember everything I said before. And our last card will be um, a fortune card. So let's see, pile three. Money fast. How can Pile 3 make money fast? Messages for Pile 3 about fast money. What do we got? Twists and turns. Carefully made plans can be thrown out the windows. Major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with upheaval. Things are messy right now. <laughs> so you really need to protect yourself right now. Remember, cards aren't certain. And everything can change, and these aren't like 100%. Um, they're just more of a way for you to prepare for things that could happen, and so you can keep it in mind and avoid it so you don't end up here. You know what I mean? Um, I definitely wish you luck with all of this. I hope you're really careful, and I hope you being careful brings you into really good financial abundance. On that note, I am going to go ahead and end your reading here. If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know what pile you picked. I love you guys and I'm so, so sorry it wasn't, you know, as positive as you probably were hoping, but I hope you still enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, guys.